Did I get everything at the market, Garfield? Yeah, but not nearly enough of it. Bread, milk, butter, cheese, more cheese, more cheese, more cheese. To red to the knees, lizard soup, I have newt. I had to buy the frozen kind. You just can't get fresh I have newt these days. More cheese, more cheese, more cheese. Yo! Oh. Oh, hi, Mrs. Cauldron. Mr. Arbuckle, imagine running into you here. Huh? You remember Mrs. Cauldron, the lady who lives over in Ackerman Lane? Oh, yeah. Oh. The witch. This is my niece, Abigail. She's staying with me while she attends school. <laughs> nice to meet you, Abigail. Uh, there's no school around where you live. It's a special school. I heard about you, Mr. Arbuckle. And that's your cat that sleeps all day and eats everyone's lasagna. Guilty as charged. In fact, we have to get home so I can help Abigail with a lesson. Oh. Good day. I like Mrs. Cauldron. There are some neighbors who claim she's a witch, but I know that's ridiculous. <laughs> Tell me about the enchanted book, Aunt Esther. Just as soon as we get home, dear. Will you do that laugh for me, Aunt? For you, anything. <laughs> Witches, what a silly idea. <laughs> what a ridiculous... <laughs> A thousand years ago, there was a witch named Veracella who gave her own heart to black magic in exchange for greater power. <laughs> Consumed with hatred for the human race, the heartless Veracella searched for three legendary magical artifacts. They were the Mercury Slippers, the Broom of Sorrows, and the Lilith Wand. By combining their powers, Varicella could then unleash the Forbidden Moon, a deadly spell that would plunge the whole world into eternal darkness and turn all humans into helpless toads. <laughs> Varicella was so wicked that all the witches agreed. She had to be stopped before she could complete the spell. The witches banished Varicella into the pages of a magic spell book. My magic spell book. As for the three magical artifacts, they were scattered across the magic realm so that no one might ever bring them together again. Let me out of this book! Ah! That is why since that very day, there have been good witches and there have been wicked witches. Cool! Can Varicella ever break free from her prison? Only if someone was ever foolish enough to use the book's magic for their own selfish needs. Auntie, when I grow up, will I be a good witch or a wicked witch? Well, I hope you'll be the best possible good witch you could be. Now, I want to go bake some frog muffins. <laughs> when can I learn how to cast some real magic spells? I want to become as powerful as Varicella. Oh, don't worry, Bruce. I'd never hurt you. You're my bat! Abigail, how many times do I have to tell you the strongest magic doesn't come from a wand? But from the heart, I know. Mm -hmm. ah. <gasps> <gasps>
Garfield, if you think you're going to eat this entire pizza by yourself, you're wrong. I'm right. Buddy, do you want to fetch a stick? Go fetch it, boy. I know, I know. Even after three seasons, he still falls for it. Odie! Odie! Gee, if Odie doesn't show up for dinner, maybe you will have to eat his half of the pizza, Garfield. Oh, I suppose I could. No, it's not fair. I won't serve dinner until Odie is at the table. I'm being forced to work entirely too hard for pizza. Not that pizza's not worth some effort, of course. I'm the most powerful witch of the whole magic realm. I'm... <laughs> the choice for me is what to be. I have to choose my fate. A good and trusted witch, but maybe I should switch. For years I've always understood that bad is not as good. It's tempting to be devious instead of just as You ready have to in a leave second, Annie? Zing, zang, zoo! I have to get Bruce back. Bruce, please come back. I'll give you treats. Neeson, why am I telling you this? You just saw it, too. Oh, perfect. No one will ever know the difference. Eeny, meeny, miny, Abigail, time to leave for school. <sighs> Here I am, Auntie. Half on your room, my dear. We can't waste time. <gasps> Cauldron is a real witch? I should have figured it out in season two. Only a real witch could have survived a whole episode with Minerva and Drusilla. Why can't I find that transportation spell? I know where everything is. Ah! Evermore! Oh, there it is. Those trivia, her terrors, rather buried. Now remember, listen to your cousin Winona. I will, and I'll try to be a good witch, Annie Esther. Bye. <laughs> Odie, oh, 
This is my fault for trying to get his half of the pizza. That book, it must have the secret of how to change him back. Ouch! I have to go check out my frog muffins. They're not for you, Raven. You eat bird seeds. Nevermore! <sighs> there are thousands of spells in here. How am I going to find the one that Mrs. Cauldron just used to send her niece off to school? I believe you'll find that spell you're looking for on page 658. Oh, thanks. <gasps> Did you just say that? Nevermore! Oh, that's right. You're a raven. You just say nevermore. Who's talking? Just a friend. Here, let me help you. <laughs> Thanks, whoever you are. Whatever you are. All right, let's see here. One-way trip to the School of Witchery and Witchcraft. That's the one. 